Get in a comfortable position, close your eyes, and take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body and try to keep your attention there. Think of the body as your home and you're going to settle in. And if there's any home you want to make it comfortable. So ask yourself, if long breathing feels good, you can keep it up. If it doesn't feel good, you can change. You can make it shorter, more shallow, heavier, lighter, faster, slower. Experiment for a while to see what rhythm of breathing feels good right now. It's like getting paint chips for your house. What color do you want? You can put the paint chips up against the wall. You can compare them with each other until you finally decide that yeah, this is the color you want. It's the same with the breath. You can try short breathing, long breathing, and compare them. What really feels good right now? If you want this home to be a comfortable place to be, you have to listen to it. What does the body need right now? Sometimes it needs to be energized. Sometimes it needs to be relaxed. Sometimes it needs to be soothed. So find ways of breathing that will energize it or relax it or soothe it as the need may be. And then realize that you're learning how to get more and more sensitive to how the body feels from within. This gives you a good foundation. Because often we're like people who run around without any homes. We're exposed to the sun, exposed to the wind, exposed to the rain. In other words, whatever moods come up in the mind, whatever events happen outside, we're totally exposed. We have no safe place to stay, no firm place to stand. But when you feel at home here, you've got a good place to stand. And you're coming from a protected place, so you don't feel so threatened. When you're outside and you feel threatened by things, you tend to lash out and then say and do things that you later regret. But if you can stay inside the body, it's not that you don't know things outside you know, but you're well established inside the body. Then you've got your protection, you feel safe. And when you're coming from a sense of safety, you behave in much better ways. More considered, more circumspect. So try to maintain the sense of being inside your body, being at home in your body as you go through the day. Not only when you sit here with your eyes closed, but at any time you have any time that you're not having to think about something else or focus on something else, you can be in here. Straighten out the house inside. Get everything in good running order. So it really is a good place to stay. For most of us it's not a good place to stay because we haven't explored how the breath energy works in the body. Because the in and out breathing is not the only breath there is. There's also the breath that goes through the nerves, the breath that goes through the blood vessels. And as you get more and more sensitive to the body, you begin to realize, yeah, there is this flow in the body, flow of energy. In some places it's restricted, in some places it's cut off. But you can end the restriction, you can reconnect the places where it's cut off so that it flows smoothly throughout the body. And this will be good for the physical health of the body as well as providing the mind with a good place to stay. And realize there's a lot to do here, a lot to learn. Because it's right here at the breath where your body and your mind meet. And the breath will have acts as a media intermediary. When the mind wants to influence the body, it goes to the breath. When the body has an influence on the mind, it goes to the breath. So if you're at the breath, you're at the checkpoint where you can see how these influences are going. So all around it's a good place to stay. When the mind, has, when the mind has a home like this, then it's a lot better mind to be with. You're treating it well and it will treat you well in return.